DZRJ 810 AM, the voice of the Philippines proudly brings you Equal Justice. Find out the hottest legal issues of the week and hear the analysis. And now, here are your hosts, Attorney Ador Tolentino. Yes to peace, no to BBS. Facebook, okay. Facebook. Facebook. Okay. If you want to follow me. Attorney June Kicho. Kailangan ano ko yun, comfort level eh. Exactly. And Attorney Tiki Tabuhara. Vice President Vinay, pati si Pinoy, pati si Executive Secretary. Alright, okay, so now, back to topic. Yes, actually, uh, as we committed you know, a year, I mean, um, uh, weeks ago, uh, we will really run a series of discussion on the presidential bonds. And last week, we uh, uh, talked about raised posts of pending petition against uh, the decision of the Commonwealth disqualifying her. And, you know, uh, we uh, mentioned about the uh, passionate uh, uh, statement quoted uh, from uh, Justice uh, Marvi Dionin, the youngest uh, 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 justice of the Supreme Court. He was Court. joined, right? He was joined by. Especially, yes, but at that uh, time last week, you know, he, 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 his statement really became viral in the social ano media. Ba siya it's about, you know, we are not legalists, okay? Uh, the, we are justices, and the root word is just. Uh, just do it. Yeah, no, he said uh, that they, they should, they should uh, dispense justice in accordance with law. Uh, actually, so actually, all those who are rooting for uh, race post uh, yeah, actually, qualification are really um, uh, uh, given heart. Yeah, they, they really feel for this statement. That, that, that statement gives them hope. Because uh, yeah. eh, akin lang na partner, no? Kasi statements like that, yep. na we must dispense justice with them. Uh, I think uh, the what most of our listeners should understand is that because na yung legal proceedings kasi sa court hindi lang basta law ang binabatayan eh. It is also substantial justice. Oh, okay, so time, considerations sabi, of equity. Kaya si masabi na wala naman sa batas ng iba yun. Yes. So kaya lang if it is fair, it is just, if mm. it is in consonance with general principles of yes. fairness. And if you believe that, yan, that the that the black letter law is really a little bit unfair. Yes, oh. yes. That, uh, that that just because uh, it is the law, uh, if we implement the law to its uh, uh, full effect, you know, it would mean. Uh, some sort of injustice on the part of uh, the one concerned or the one who's invoking the benefit, you know, of, of a different uh, take on the law. But uh, that being said, uh, uh, I, I I haven't really uh, heard of of uh, uh, some substantive argument uh, for and uh, against uh, the case. But uh, you said that uh, uh, four other justices joined in uh, the more or less mindset of well, uh, Justice Well, it was um, the latest uh, that I heard. Of the, I, the latest that I heard to do sa oral arguments. No? I've mm. been following it over the news. No? Yes. Ang sinasabi kasi is that uh, I think Chief Justice Sireno was the one who even acknowledged the fact na Philippine adoption laws favor from things. Yes. May sinabi siyang ganun eh. Naka-headlines pa yun sa Jario eh. Mm. And uh, from what I understand when I read the statement was that she was trying to equate uh, adoption with, mm. being, with being qualified to to be a child, you know, yes, child or yes. child. So, so I, I, I do not buy that argument because with, with due respect to Chief Justice, no, because uh, number one, itong adoption has nothing to do with being a natural born citizen. Mm -hmm. A natural born citizen means that you are a citizen of the Philippines from birth without having to perform any other act to perfect your citizenship. Right. Okay, now, if you are an adopted person, Obviously, you can be ad an adopted foreigner. Yes. Pwede yung ibang, ibang, ibang citizenship mo at inadapt ng Filipino. You become a Filipino. So that is yes. not an adopted foreigner. Not, but you are not... Uh, uh, if you, well, if you are of foreign blood and you are adopted by Filipino uh, uh, parents under the ICAD, you know, the Inter-Country mm -hmm. Adoption... Uh, uh, you know, uh, ICAP, rather. Uh, uh, adoption Board. Uh, would that give you... Uh, the right to follow the natural citizenship of your adoptive parents? Of course not. Of course not. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you perform that act. You right? are a citizen oh. perhaps, but whether or not you are a natural born, I mean, oh. I think that, that that's where the distinction lies. Yeah, exactly. Natural mm. born kasi means, to repeat, no? mm. natural born, it means from birth, you a citizen ka na, mm. without having to perform any further act to perfect your citizenship. Mm. So, if you naturalized, ka, 
you have to go to court to declare yourself a Philippine citizen, hindi ka natural born, di ba? Yung pinanganak na anak ng Pilipina na nanay, after the 1973 constitution, yan, by direct provision of law, you are a natural born citizen. Pero mm-hmm. itong si Grace mo kasi, ang problema, she, she does not, she's a founding. So wala siyang birth certificate, wala siyang... Exactly. Sa and and, and, uh, and uh, not only that, she wasn't able to find anyone Okay. Related, yeah, related to her by blood, nobody actually Meron. came forward. Who? Si Bongo Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi to, I wouldn't mind if she's my sister. <laughs> oh my god. Chismis na lang natin yung mga yeah, Pero yung ayaw yung naman patulan yun ng Grace Pocah. Chismis na lang, chismis muna. Kasi oh. according to, alam mo, the joke is that she was the, the daughter of former president for Rina Marcos. Oh, yeah, by, that's an old joke. By an American old rumor, yeah, old actress, rumor. diba? Ito yeah. yung Dobie Beams ba yun? Or yeah. somebody... I don't know, no. by an actress with the uh, middle, I mean with the uh, initials uh, R S. R S. Oh, huwag na natin diretsuhin. Hindi naman Ramon, Ramon Saisai. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, you know, come to think of it, no? Ito, this is another issue that I might make to raise, no? Since we're on that, that, that topic, no? Who is who has the burden of proof? Kung kunya ikaw pindi question ni sa kandidato, yes, yes. she's a natural born citizen, she is not qualified. Who has the burden of proof to to prove that she is a natural born citizen? Is it the candidate herself who is being questioned, mm-hmm. or, or is it the accuser? The, the accuser. Yeah. Okay, yan ang yan ang tanong ko sa inyo. What what do you think? Uh, kasi ganito yan. Uh, maybe uh, that can be uh, uh, explained in the light of the existing laws mm-hmm. or lack of it. Okay. As, at this point in time, we don't have a law <laughs> to really uh, uh, interpret or apply in, in her situation because there simply is no law existing to cover her. Uh, we don't have a law. That, okay. We're foundlings. Constitution. <laughs> yeah, the Constitution is, uh, is not uh, uh, providing us any uh, answers. A clear answer to that question. As a matter of fact, the Constitution is working against her. It is working against her because uh, as a foundling, her uh, her her uh, parentage is unknown. Okay, being unknown uh, of, of unknown parentage, then there simply is no re- uh, relation to the uh, premise required in the constitutional provisions defining who are the citizens or natural born citizens. Unknown, siya eh. mm-hmm. Okay, uh, we always revert back to well, hindi naman niya kasalanan, foundling siya eh, but, eh iniwan siya dito. In this, situation, but, has, nga siya eh. in this situation, who has the burden of proving? Well, that, that, does she have to prove that she is a natural born citizen or does the accuser have to be the one to prove it? In her case, I think it should be uh, her okay, who should prove that she is a natural born because uh, the requirement of natural born citizen okay, is exactly an issue. Meaning, somebody is questioning it because of the circumstances she was found, uh, you know, uh, when she was so found. What the presumption? Eh, yun na nga eh. Are you going to give the presumption where the law does not, you know, does not even provide for it? Wala nga eh. Uh, okay. uh, uh, we cannot okay. even say that all this uh, international customary law on foundling, okay, so that it will re- we will re- we will be part of those countries reducing stateless uh, persons, uh, that we should uh, uh, abide by, you know, this international customary law. Remember, Pat, uh, Manyal, under our uh, uh, jurisdiction, okay, customary laws do only have... Supplitory. Yes, no, hindi supplitory, para lang siyang ano, eh, municipal law, meaning they they have uh, the strength of a statute law. Yun lang yun eh. Hindi sila, they cannot rise above our own constitution. Pero, uh, ito question ko. Uh, no? Parang, uh, wala pa presa- Well, she's lived here her whole life. No? Mm. She went to school here, she has, she's worked here, mm. nakapag-vote siya dito. She ran for senator actually five years ago. And there was now, no disqualification. Right, now, my question is, <laughs> my question is, uh, yung bang, let's say, wala kang katibayan na ikaw Philippine citizen but the thing is the fact that you're here mm. does that not give you a kasi sa rules of evidence natin kasi mm. uh, I'm going by the rules of evidence yes, no? to yes. prove or how to prove no? yes. sa rules of court natin sinasabi na all that there are certain presumptions that everything is presumed to be fair and regular. Yes. The ordinary yes. course of events. Just like for example, when you are a public uh, officer, uh, you are presumed to be to, performing your job okay, with regularity. You have the, to, to have the uh, qualifications. Now, yes. my question is: the moment somebody impugns that or can question your qualifications, mm. sino ang may burden na patunayan 
na ganun nga talaga. In my opinion kasi, and I, I, I think this is where, where I will diverge mm. from your view, mm-hmm. I think the burden of proof is upon the accuser to prove that she is not a natural born citizen because mm-hmm. you are presumed to be fair and regular eh. Nakuto ka with the qualifications na elect ka. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody comes along and says, wala kang qualifications, patunayan mo. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kung, kung, kung baga, there should not, there should be a presumption of innocence. Mm-hmm. Diba? Na, na if she is being questioned as a Philippine citizen and she's lived her whole mm-hmm. life, then let that accuser prove na talaga hindi siya citizen. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ano sa akin? You, you, okay, let's try to draw the line. Hindi yung eh. Ang, ang point kasi dito is, uh, as a t- citizen, uh, I think because that has a broader um, coverage as against natural born Filipino citizen, uh, but like, eh, I have no qualms about you know a foundling found in the Philippines to be presumed Filipino citizen. But whether she is natural born or not, that's where the okay. I draw the line. Okay. And that's exactly is the, the one issue right now with, uh, with respect to uh, uh, Senator Poe. That's exactly what is questioned. Not her citizenship, not but her being natural born. Because unknown ang parentage niya. Eh. Okay, then, we, we all know that we are following okay. the Yu Sanguinis. Uh, no, no. <laughs> well, ano ba yung nag, nag, four, nag eight four? May eight four recently, uh, decision eight four yung uh, which nag, is nag, nag justice, political issue there. No, nag just, si Justice Leon yung nag dissent, mm. but the the majority kept the the decision. Ang nag dissent si Justice Leon yung Justice Carpio, Ay, Justice Sereno, and Justice Bernabe. Hindi ba yan Apat yung Hindi ba yan yung issue. appeal issue niya, no? <laughs> ni Enrile. Ah, yan, may issue. Yeah, yung oh. medyo uh, super passionate uh, dissenting opinion oh. pa niya, no? Ni Leonel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> na nagkasuhan pa yata sila ni Persamin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 eh, eh, oh. ang, ang, ang sa akin lang, mukhang the lines have also been drawn, mm. that, that same cluster, voting cluster, that dissented in the Enrile decision is now in favor of the Pope. In favor as of both. So you are saying that uh, this is Yasis Carpio? Is it? Uh, and diba, it's red uh, that this is. It's not. It's not. It's not. So it's so Justice Leonin, think... Justice, Justice, Chief Justice Sereno, hmm. Justice Bernabe. Mukhang, mukhang, ano, uh, mukhang mukhang tropo eh. So yung mga bata pala, doon papunta. Oo, oh, ngayon oh. yung mga old timers, Justice Bersamin, Justice uh, Castro, ayun, mukhang yun yung against. Castillo, Brion. Oh. Brion oh. Yeah, kasi si Brion in his uh, dissenting opinion sa HREP, di ba? That's exactly the, the, the very foundation, I suppose, of the Comelec decision to disqualify them. But, but, but would, you, would you realize that, uh, partner, that uh, this composition of the Supreme Court, which will be deciding this case, case mm. will be drastically uh, altered? Because, di ba yung tatlong justice, si Justice Brion, Justice Carpio, Justice Castro, mm. who sat in the HRET case, mm. must by, necess- by, by law inhibit. Yes, yes. And yan, in voluntary uh, uh, inhibition. Kasi eh, no na yung kanilang position. They eh. decided the case at the lower level. Exactly. Now, so they cannot decide the same C- case. Sitting as H-Rep, yes. uh, uh, you know, uh, judges, member or judges. judges diba? So they cannot decide the same case. Yes. At the appellate level. Okay, uh, so wala nang tatlo. Because it involves more or less the same issue. Oh, okay. Ngayon, magaling yung abogado ni Grace Poe. May dalawa pa. Sino bang yung mga Grace Poe? Yung dalawang proto Duterte na nagsalita. Uh, <laughs> si Justice Mendoza at saka Justice Peralta. Uh, Ngayon, uh, in fairness, no? Uh, mm. Maybe they should not... Hindi naman forced inhibition to, no? Pero mm. kung ako yung abogado ni Grace Poe, papainibit ko na rin. You know why? Nagbitaw na sila ng salita na tungkol sila kayo ito at kumapanya na sila eh. Mm. Ikalaban mo sa election yan eh, di ba? Mm. So why should they not inhibit? Mm. Di ba? So lima. Mm. Lima out of uh, ilang ba? 13? 12? Ilang mga justice sa Supreme Court? 12? 15. 15. Yes. So lima ang mawawala. Wala so, na lang. Ano sa pula lang. So which, uh, which, which, which way, way <laughs> uh, the, the issue will uh, be decided? Ano, maganda, yan ang kailangan apangan natin. Yes. Tayong so, mga ano, uh, tagapanood. <laughs> news, karapatinig ng mga balita. Tapang tanong naman tayo, let's, let's uh, read on, read more para alam natin yung issues, hindi yung puro lang based on emotion. Kasi ang hirap ng emotional argument eh. Let's try to be more or less objective. Uh, try to dis- dissociate ourselves from the emotional feeling that we, you know, that we are always clouded with whenever we make judgment. Okay, uh, masarap naman nag-uusap eh, pero uh, minsan maganda kung talagang naka- uh, base naman tayo sa objective. Well, I, well, I think ano, I think uh, meron ano, meron na uh, talagang ano no, the, the general public really has a sentiment to really know what the facts are. Kaya lang minsan medyo paglayman ka, you mm-hmm. have to read a bit more uh, yes, before yes. you come to your judgment. Uh, it's so burning at the back 
yet no, nobody admits him no, no, in front. But at the same time, si Bongbong Marcos mismo, kung natin sa Supreme Court or online, uh, labas din yung DNA niya. Daga, dugo niya. Oh, Pag dugo oh, siya doon, oh, oh ito, testing ako, oh, exhibit A. O, oh, papatesting ako. <laughs> Kapatid ko si Grace po. <laughs> But what will he gain na pala? Kung may declare ano? Hey, kung manalo siya vice president, hindi presidente. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's, let's discuss a bit yung... <laughs> Uh, ano ito, ano na tayo mo? Ano yung position na ito? Yung kalaban niya, yun, di ba nalano? Di ba, if Grace Poe wins, uh, yung kalaban niya si Maro Haas at si Tabinay, hindi nalano. Okay, so kung magkakapatid mo, kung magkakapatid mo, kapatid mo, kapatid mo, kapatid mo, kapatid mo, kapatid mo, ikaw, vice president, kapatid mo siya. The first thing, Will you benefit him in his vice president? Of course, ikaw kapatid mo, president, hindi lahat na executive order ng Muslo, filmado na. Pinakado pala sa cheese dyan. <laughs> no, uh, let's let's. Uh, I, I just want to share with everyone here for the uh, you know information of our listeners. Uh, based on a Rappler uh, article, you know, I read uh, that's posted today. Um, in analyze, well, we may analyze, but they just uh, presented to us uh, how our presidential candidates, the five of them, at least, uh, si Grace Poe, si, Uh, Mar Rojas, uh, Jojo Binay, uh, Digong Duterte, and uh, Miriam uh, Defensor spent uh, money during the last two elections in 2010 and 2013. And uh, ito, bibigyan kita ng mga idea dito, Panyaro. Uh, ang total expenditure nung tumakbong Vice President si Rojas ay 279.4 million. Sec- close declare sec- pa lang yan, declare. declare yan. Declare. Si Binay, for the same position of VP in 2010, 217. So that's like uh, uh, more, almost 60 million. Okay, uh, more than 60 million rather. Uh, difference. Si Grace, kung tumagbong senator, 123 million. Million, senator. Ang lakas ng gastos. Kaya mas number one siya. Oh, okay. Si senator Sanchez, 2010, Okay, 117 million. True. Malaki rin. Malaki rin. Sa alam niya, sa alam niya, pera. Exactly. Yeah, Makontribusyon. Si Digong si Duterte, mayor ng Davao City, uh, 85,000. <laughs> <laughs> 85,000! This is not the figure set. Teka, 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 Ayos eh. Oh, teka, kulang pa sa pagbayan ng Jollibee ng mga, oh, mga, mga supporters niya. Uh, uh, But then, uh, uh, saan ba nanggaling yung mga pera niyo? Uh, okay, okay. tingnan natin, tingnan natin. In 2010, sino ang pinakamalaking contribution? Yun nga, si uh, Rojas, 83% went to media ads. So talagang bombarded mo. Ng so malakas ang kita ng media ngayon. Media, 83%. Oh. At uh, nanggaling yun sa 33 contributors. Oh, yung 200. Oh, Ah, uh, meron yung limit of spending. Yun. Hindi naman kasi ang president yata, pwede pa yata gumastos ng ano doon, 300,000. Yeah, <laughs> 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 billion. Ito. Uh, naglabas si Senator uh, Marrojas nung uh, vice presidential bid niya from his own pocket, 33.4 million. Sino? Si uh, Rojas. From his own pocket. Uh, 33 million pesos uh, spend, right? From his own pocket. All the rest came from ito. biggest contributor na relatives niya yung auntie niya si uh, Madam Maria Araneta Forens nanay ni Margarita oh, yung son, Araneta Center yan eh. oh, Margarita Araneta ano, Forens ano yun, uh, asawa ng Dr. Forens yata sa mga pinag yan eh. yes, 60 million ang inampang ang binigay yes. at, at ang nanay niya si Madam Judy Araneta Rojas and Uncle George Araneta anak, anak. came in second at 50 million each <laughs> so between the relatives Uh, naka 160 million kaagad siya ng contribution and yung brother-in-law niya gave and another aunt gave 10 million each and yung, sis, yung cousin niya si Margarita Araneta Forres ang owner of Chico 7 million so from the Araneta family alone alam mo na, na ano, napakalaki ng inambag sa kanya alright uh, pagdating naman dito kay ano, kay Roja uh, Binay Yung kanyang 217 million, 80% went to media ads. Okay? And, ito ang mga contributors niya, hindi na pangalanan, pero dito ang trade okay? His top contributors include a pharmacy mogul, a banking veteran. Hindi sinabi. Hindi sinabi. A relative. Okay? And, businessman 
and in two separate controversies. Ito <laughs> <laughs> diba? And the alleged overpriced Makati City Hall building. And the dubious Boy Scout of the Philippines deal. Uh, Kasi may problem din. Uh, may deal din dyan na, na di ba? Para Para ba Boy Scout na walang akala ko na. Yes, yes. Uh, si Poe naman, before we go to uh, our short break, okay? Ito na lang, kay Poe na lang. In 2013, 123 million siya. 95% went to media ads. Oh, 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 oh. Kaya nga, di ba? Kaya siya na nato dahil grabe ang mga media oh, niya noon eh. Blast niya noon eh. Uh, biggest contributor niya, of course, was her mother. Susan uh, Roses. Susan Roses. 17.4 million. And, and a big shop businessman who gave, uh, businessman, marami, who gave 10 million each si Michael Escalera. President of uh, San Fernando uh, Electric Light. Uh, uh, Thomas Tan, director of San Miguel Corporation. Edwin Louis, president of Tricon Securities. John Paul Ang of Eagle Cement. Buti pa lang itong pinapangalanan, pero si Vina, si 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 hindi pa lang siya. Baka pinahala mo, baka pinahala mo. Hindi kasi hindi nga yun. Hindi pa pinahala mo, baka pinahala mo, baka pinahala mo. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's how our candidates, you know, spent uh, uh, money for okay. their bids. Okay, sure, sure. So don't touch the dial. We will be back. <laughs> 